up guys, John from Mongo Fishing. So I'm heading out right now to go do the July 2018 Mystery Tackle Box Slam. Um, where I'm going is a little, like a little pond that I found on Google Earth. Pretty sure there's bass there. It looks like there should be bass there. Um, assuming that it's not like private property or whatever, that's where I'm going to complete the slam. Uh, and it's like s almost eight o'clock and I wanna be home by nine. So I'm gonna do this as quick as I possibly can. So let's go stick some lips. Well, there's minnows. So that's good. Eliminator, game changer, eliminator, rig it Texas style, and Texpo's the hook. Except this to me looks like a big tadpole. This being a pond, I think tadpoles are a good choice. On. Oh shoot, that's a nice one. Can't even see this hook. All right, guys. So he swallowed this hook, right? So instead of killing him by messing up his guts, you cut the line and you work the hook out the other way. There we go. Hook is out. If you look, no blood. All right. Healthy bass. Look at that freaking toad. So let's get this hammer stick on here. He's a little guy, but he counts. He hit it on the reel. I'm bringing it in and he crushes it. Oh, wow. That's two.
really. All that for this little guy. Oh well, still counts. Black crop frog. Good hit, missed it. Had a short strike on that one. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. I need to beat this thing up. All right, guys, so I'm calling it. Um, I just don't know the pond well enough to fish after dark. I don't want to end up losing all my stuff. Day two at the family friend's pond. Water's really far down. Um, and I've only got like three baits that I have to complete. So uh, I brought three rods this time so I can play around, work on frogs and uh, stuff like that. Maybe some soft plastics after I work on the slam. So uh, let's do this. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off a prank. Yep. I don't know why this won't come up to the surface. Oh, there we go. I don't know why this won't come up to the surface. Whoa, there we go. So that was unintentional. I mean, I got him because he bit, but I didn't expect to catch that little guy. All right, next up is the Reaction Strike RS Ranger. I never even turned on this camera. That was two minutes and 13 seconds on the other camera. Wow. Absolutely choked it. He's little. There's one. Is that a little bluegill? Oh my lord, look how tiny that little bass is. All right, I gotta take a picture of him. What was he thinking? You know what I mean? So.
white bass do. Yep. Smokes it. Stop it. You got too many hooks to be playing around like that. Uh -huh. Oh, you just spit out a ball of shad, dude. <laughs> that is gross. Is that all you can eat? <laughs> He's got a mouthful just hanging out right now. <laughs> yeah, small white swim bait's gonna freaking kill. Look at that. Look at his mouth. <laughs> Piggy. Look at that guy, he's got bait hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> Gross. Little shad, there it goes, it just came out. So let's close out this month's Mystery Tackle Box Slam. And I'll go through bait by bait. So, first off, the uh, the eliminator, the big O eliminator. Here it is. Big O's game changer e eliminator. So I rigged this on quarter ounce Wu tungsten slip sinker. Uh, I had it pegged to the nose. Unlike my third cast, I got a three pounder. So, um, yeah, bait works pretty pretty well. So that one sold me right off the bat. Next up was, I stayed weedless and rigged one of these Lucky John Hammer sticks on that same setup. So I pulled off the big old game changer, slapped on this Hammer stick, flipped it back out there a few casts later, caught one on that. I'll come back to this bait again later. Removed that, tossed on one of the Fanatic bait larvas uh, and pulled one off of that also so th the reason I did that is because if I figured if I'm gonna go weedless um, if I'm gonna to rig stuff up to run at Texas style I may as well fish all of these one after another um, so I'm not constantly switching stuff out so that's the reason why I went this route so that worked then I went to the prop frog as you guys saw pulled one off it. I had I had lots of short strikes. I missed a lot of fish with this, but I eventually stuck one, so I was good to go, ready to press on. But my most successful bait and biggest surprise was the RS Ranger crankbait. Now, I fished this in a private pond and caught a couple little bluegill, or sorry, caught a couple little bass like you guys saw in the video. Then I took it out to Thomas Lake a uh, day or two later and pulled a few more bass and had that recorded and while editing I deleted those videos so um, I know at least one of them is on my Instagram page but I deleted the videos on accident so you not so you didn't see those then I threw this on the Arkansas River and caught a Kentucky spot and a white bass so this little guy did really well now the one thing I didn't like is the spacing of the treble hooks because these treble hooks, of course now it's not going to do it because I'm trying to do it, but these treble hooks got wrapped up like that quite a bit. Okay, so I think this front hook needs to be smaller or just removed completely uh, or maybe make the front hook bigger and remove the back one. I don't know. But the way they're rigged, standard like this, that's not going to cut it because it does it quite a bit. So that's the only thing I didn't like about the RS Ranger. But with that said, this thing's this thing caught a lot of fish. So this has earned a permanent spot in my box. And then the one that I liked the least amount, no surprise, it's the hair jig. I threw the hair jig on three bodies of water and did not catch a fish on any of them. Um, I rigged it, you know, plain Jane just by itself. Then I added on a hammer stick so I can get a little scent. Actually, take that back. Then I trimmed the trim the tail a little bit to shorten it up some because I figured maybe I was giving too big of a bait profile. Um, you know, since there's small bait fish everywhere right now, there's really not much for big bait fish. Lots of babies everywhere though, so I trimmed the skirt down, still needed to get bit, so I threw in a hammer stick, which made it again longer, but now I get a little bit of, of scent and flavor, if you will, 
and it still didn't get bit. So I was unsuccessful with this. Um, again, on three different bodies of water, couldn't get bit at all. So least favorite, most successful. I mean, probably my most favorite because I, I mean, I, I dig frogs. And then out of the soft plastics, I really liked that game changer. It, it just looks like a big tadpole and it got me a three pounder, you know, on like my third cast. So I really can't complain. In a body of water that I, I kind of found on Google Earth that I wasn't sure if it even has big bass. And I highly, well, wasn't sure if it had bass. Um, I didn't expect big bass, that's for sure. So I like that one. That one, uh, I don't know if it's going to earn a permanent position or not, but certainly a fun one to use again, and I'll throw it again. So that's that, guys. That was this month's Mystery Tackle Box Slam. Kind of successful. Caught fish on everything except for one. The one that I kind of suspect, the one that I had the least amount of confidence in. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button's right down there. It looks like me holding a fish. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, get out of the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.